guys, welcome back, whoa, to yet again another car vlog, or rent and ride with me. I have the camera a little set up a little different because I have this nasty bruise over here. I'm trying to cover it up, but God, it just like, I want to like just walk around like this anyway. But if you have not heard, I had uh, some filler done and they've actually put it up underneath the muscle down here to give this area more of a fullness and just help kind of restructure my jaw and just kind of do all that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I had a dental block. Thank God, because I have a feeling this would hurt extremely. I actually went and looked online and saw how this is actually done. And I mean, you don't see it when they're doing it to you, so it's a little different, but good God, it looked, they, they do a lot of manipulation, but if you're in Orlando and you'd like to have some very awesome work done, I go to a place called Body Aesthetics, B-O-D-H-I, and Autumn does all of my work there. She is amazing, not sponsored in any possible way. I get nothing but complete enjoyment about mentioning her because she is such a very, very sweet lady and, um... I am so glad that I go to her now. But anyway, I hope you guys have had a wonderful few days. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust this a little better. There we go. Um, I have, I've not been feeling very well, but that's kind of par for the course. If you guys are on my Instagram, I posted a picture which really, really like, I know I've lost weight. I've lost around 60-ish pounds in the last about seven, eight months, I will we'll say year. And um, I, you see yourself every day in the mirror, so you can't really tell the difference, but good night. I looked, I took a picture of me from about a year ago, and I took a picture of me from the other day, and I put the same kind of pose, and I put them next to each other in a collage type thing, and oh my God, I don't look like the same person. It really freaked me out. So if you guys have not seen it, go check out my Instagram, because my face was like, and now it's like <laughs> crazy. Anyway, um, I always, there's like certain makeup companies that I like have to have, they have to have, have to have to have their palettes. Used to always be Too Faced, but I've gotten a little off of theirs because, you know, they've kind of dropped like what I would like and they're coming up with like so many duplicates of stuff. Tarte's doing the same thing. Now, Anastasia, what in the hell have you guys seen that sultry palette i mean i'm salty over that palette come on i'm just it really it was not what i would expect for a christmas palette from anastasia i mean it looks like it looks like um the what is it cool glam whatever the hell um oh my god i can't Soft Glam. It looks like Soft Glam version 2 with a corally color added to it. No. I don't know. You know, I have all her palettes. I even have the, uh, what's the World Traveler palette, which I even like that one. But, you know, it's so disappointing. Even, like, Urban Decay, I used to get all their palettes. And it's like, i seen that Cherry palette, and I was so disgusted. It's like, what is it, like, um... Oh my god, what's that? The heat palette part two now? I mean, it's like hit the heat with a little bit of something. God, that is swollen right there. Wow. Oh, I didn't realize that I'm bruised all the way down in here. I don't know. But I did have to get that, um, the setting spray comes in cherry scent. A light cherry scent, but it's only in the travel size. I don't know. But, um, if you guys missed the 21 days of beauty at Ulta, I got very upset over that one. Uh, they put an item up for, they put an item, it was the Derma Doctor, the evening oil, and it was supposed to be like 70, 70 or 50% off, and it's 70 something dollars, and it was on sale for 36. I, I go like the night, night before, like 10 o'clock, and it's sold out before the sale, so I figured, okay, well, they're, maybe they're just like whatever and tomorrow they'll have them it was still sold out so then I called them up and I get this like well it's wait supplies last well if you don't have a supply how is it supplies last how can you if you didn't even have one 
you know, you didn't have supplies. I don't know. And then, of course, I got another customer service person. They just acted even stupider. I mean, does that not make sense? If you don't have it, don't put it for sale. And if you don't have it, when the sale goes up, why don't you make sure you have it or have something substituting it? Not cool. Anyway, I don't know. Maybe it's just me just being a total, you know, what, and complainer and whiner and, and whatever you want to call me, but I don't know. Anywho, anything. Um, my husband wants ice cream. He wants a sundae. So where can I get a sundae? I'm trying to figure that out without driving like so far. Hmm. My car like tells me where stuff is, but I can never figure out how to use this damn thing. So I don't know. Anyway, um, what else? I'm just really disappointed with these collections that are coming out you know I really try to stay up on stuff and make sure that I have like you know some of the newer stuff to review for you guys and show you and I really wanted to have a super super big Christmas um, you know type giveaway or you know season I, I wanted to have a big giveaway coming up and I wanted to invite glamorous beauty and I wanted to invite um, Isaac Halbert uh, I, yeah Isaac Halbert to have their audiences join where the three of our channels could do a really super huge video and if they wanted to add some things to it we could what do you guys think of something like that if you guys like the idea let us all know I haven't me and Glamorous Beauty have talked a little bit about it I have not talked to Isaac about it but I thought it might be a cool idea to kind of do some things including each other because um With all the problematic big YouTubers and all their BS going on, it's kind of falling on, it's falling on the hands of us smaller YouTubers to kind of be the, the calm in the storm, the honest voice and all the, the loud lies and screaming kind of thing, you know? Um, I personally would turn down a collab or you know sponsorship or whatnot if I was expected to put my morals at on the line you know if I was expected to not be completely transparent and completely honest with how I felt about something I would not do it um that is a lot of the reason I've turned down so many people asking me to do things and, and it's mainly been because I've gotten a very bad I've gotten a very bad vibe to the point where I felt like if I said something bad and didn't like ooh and on goo you know gush over their product that, that it would be a, an issue and I, I, I don't do that I either like something or I don't and I, it doesn't matter how much money you give me. I'm still going to either like it or not. I mean, you know, I don't work that way. You know, I'm 48 years old. I've gotten this far in life paying for my own stuff. And I'll continue to do it. You know, I don't rely on PR for stuff. And I, you know, I, I won't ever. You know, me and, um, you know, me and Glamour Beauty have talked a lot about this. And I, I think a lot of smaller YouTubers really need to kind of band you know band together and I thought even trying to start some kind of like uh, group kind of thing with some of the smaller youtubers where we could kind of collab on stuff and even like pass makeup onto each other like you know help each other out you know it is hard it's very hard it's very expensive products are not cheap we I personally, I don't get any discounts. I don't get anything free. Nothing's giving to me, you know, besides things that I disclose with you guys. But, you know, anyway, I, speaking of <laughs> overpriced, I got a Pat McGrath palette. I had wanted a Pat McGrath palette forever, one of the Mothership palettes. And I was looking at the new one. I probably should have went ahead and got the new one. But I just kept looking at it and thinking I could only see one, one or two, I, a few looks with it. You know, it, it was all red. That's all I could see was red. And I'm not a red person. You know, I, I wound up getting the third one. 
submersive, I think it's called. Sub, uh, sub, I don't remember beans with this. <laughs> um, but number three, I wound up getting, I will tell you, I was very surprised. They're beautiful palettes. Don't get me wrong, but they are not for me. The reason being, the mattes are absolutely amazing, but there are only, I think, two. There is one color in there that's more of like a highlight type color, which is very pretty, but it barely shows up for anything more than a little flash of color. The, um, the shimmer, which are like borderline metal, are amazing. The shimmers are gorgeous, but there's a learning curve. There's a very big learning curve with these, and I, you know, I watch um, Mel. If you guys have not seen her channel, she's amazing. I watch her channel and she talks a lot about how um, there's, a, there's a learning curve and you have to kind of learn how to use these. And I am, I, I'm still kind of messing with them. Um, they are very difficult. They have a lot of fallout. They have, um, it's hard to get them to really show up the way you want. I've tried to use them with a sticky base. I've tried to use them with glitter glue. Um, I did, I have the P. Louise um, eyeshadow base that I did order. I'm waiting for it to get here. And I think that will help a lot. But um, I'm going to play around with them. If you guys would like me to actually film that and show you guys the drama that I'm having of learning how to do these, mess with these, let me know. If you guys are interested in seeing things like that, which, you know, it actually it might help you guys if you want to get into that. Um, I, that was going to be one of the items I wanted to do as like a Christmas. I wanted to do a really big, really exciting, really awesome giveaway. And that was one of the things I wanted to do was a Pat McGrath palette. I've, and, but I, I, if I'm feeling that way and I am more experienced as far as makeup, um, <laughs> I could only imagine how 10 years ago I would, t or 15 years ago, I would have like been, t no, take it back. I was fighting myself not to take it back because, you know, it, it's more of a editorial, it's more for editorial type looks. It's more for those like kind of over the top kind of looks. And really it's just, I guess I need to really just kind of play around with it. Um, the one thing that was really getting to me uh, is the shimmers. I couldn't really get them to stick. Even, you know, using setting spray, even using uh, the glitter glue even. I couldn't really get them to to stick the way I wanted where they were just like they looked like loose glitters and not like a like a, a solid you know sh shimmer eyeshadow you know like how this gold is I'm wearing today that's solid it's more of that editorial kind of look but anyway um let me know if you guys want to do that um I've thought about doing that also um somebody asked me if I would do a live um Q&A if you guys, let me know if you guys are interested in that. If you are, let me know the best day and time you would like to do it. And I will consider doing it. Anyway, I am going to go find my husband a hot fudge Sunday, And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I have a couple of really cool videos that I'm going to be posting for you guys. I've been trying to stay up on getting a lot more posted for you. If there's anything you guys want to see, as always, please let me know. And I will make sure that I get it right out to you. Have a wonderful day. I love you all. Bye.